So now we'll talk about probably the most popular orange wine we've ever put in the wine club. Um, so I'll be interested to see which ones you guys most enjoy uh, in this very first run. So this is from Cacique Maravilla, who is out of Chile in the VOB region. Uh, that literally means like a wonderful conqueror, uh, and that's where he got the name from, because I guess that his family is uh, originally from Spain, and when they moved there, they lived in existence quite well, supposedly, with the natives. Um, and they have been working with both a lot of the native grapes from the region, like Pais, um, and this is obviously a Muscat, so it's not native, but it is a really fun example of what can be done with orange wine because muscat is normally such a light grape if you like moscato or like sweet wines um that's where it normally gets its name from and where people know it uh but then when you take it and you put it on its skins for two months it really adds this interesting depth to the wine um that is very unique compared to what you you know what happens with like a chardonnay or something um because it still has uh, the lightness to it and it's still great with Asian food and it's still like not not sweet because there's no residual sugar on it but still has like these floral notes that make it feel in its own way kind of like you know light and sweet um, but it's not so the color is light because again like the extraction even after two months it's a very light orange it's also quite cloudy because unfined unfiltered and on the nose, it's just so floral. It's lovely, like the aromatics on Muscat are great no matter what. And then if you take it and you put skin contact on it, it just adds this level of depth to it. So um, I get like some stone fruit, also like pineapple on it, like a Meyer lemon, like a lemon or like a lemon rind uh or like a candied lemon even like that's kind of like the first things that come to my mind and again just like i don't exactly know what the floral is like I don't, i'm not, not good at the names like the light like the small little white flowers where there's like a bunch of them like one that's not too like pungent not like a rose or something like that just like the fresh little wild flowers that's like the type of florality i get off of the nose and then on the palette It's just lovely because it's so like fresh, crisp, and clean. Um, so like you don't want to put it with anything too serious. It's again like still like a lighter style of wine, a lighter grape. Uh, but it's like so perfect with something like a sushi or some seafood. Um, where a lot of times orange wines can go too far down the path of being you know tannic. It has some tannic in it, tannin in it. This one's more like has like so. <laughs> wine term tannin is normally with red wine it comes from the skins and with white grapes a lot of times they'll talk about phenolic bitterness um and the difference is tannin you feel by like having the moisture sucked out of the sides of your mouth phenolic bitterness feels more like a baby aspirin going down the middle of your tongue um and it's like phenolic bitterness is like tannin for white wines so orange wines can have both or either depending on the style uh, and this one there is teeny teeniest bit of tannin but not really like what you're really getting on it is more phenolic bitterness um, but it's still in such a small amount that it can go really well with what would normally be put with white wines so I'm definitely putting with sushi I could put it with like a uh, like a white pasta or like like a what's it called like a the white pizza like it has like no red sauce on it it's just like not mar not marinara what's the opposite anyways like you, you know what i'm talking about like the white cheese pizza that would be a really great pairing like it's fun and easy you could also just drink it by itself um it's really just like the best example that i've had of a uh entry level style of muscat skin contact and if you love this and you want to go crazy um with something that's like gonna blow your mind the gabrio bini uh is the same grape out in Pan Penitularia in Italy, like the most hyped juice of uh, Muscat d'Alexandria uh, in skin contact. His has more skin contact and it's very expensive, very rare. I think we're out of it right now. Um, but that is like, if you really wanna try something uh, next level of this, that's where you should go next.
So we're really excited to have this in our very first Orange Wine Club. We hope you really enjoy it and let us know what you pair with.